There were a couple of videos that I was going to do today. But I'm going to hold off on those videos. My spirit is extremely grieved. I'm extremely grieved in my spirit. Because of the things that I see. That's coming upon this earth. And it's moving quite rapidly. You know we can do as much warning as we can. But in spite of the amount of warning that we give, there's going to always be people to ignore those warnings. You're going to catch some sort of backlash from those warnings because most of the population had bought in to the satanic agenda and was even more frightful is the fact that those that claim to know, those that claim to be spiritual, those that claim to have some type of insight really can't see what's going on. They become like sheep being led to the slaughter. Not just them, but they're leading their families to damnation. Now, it's interesting to me that so many black people are on the bandwagon of everything that the Democrats feed you. You gobble it up without second thought, without even questioning or giving thought to it. From the NAACP, the political politicians, the black political politicians that y'all voted into office, that made so many complaints that at one time in life complained about the black community and what the black community is going through and what the black community is lacking. So now that they're in a position of power, they become like that satanic energy that have always manipulated the black community and only use them for their own personal agenda. Just like with this whole I stand with the Asian nonsense. And I'm at a point where I really don't care what I say now on YouTube because regardless of what I say, YouTube is going to remove it and will justify Removing it, although there's a whole lot worse on YouTube. Just today, two of my channels had been hit with strikes. Videos that did not violate YouTube community guidelines. Videos that's been there for a while. Now, all of a sudden, they want to give this channel a strike. So I really don't care what I say now. And I may say some things that are quite offensive to someone because you can't please everyone. And even if YouTube removes this video, the link to my speaker account, the link to my WordPress is on the bottom. Those are sites that I pay for. I encourage you to go there and subscribe. Or follow me. I'm also on Twitter. FearlessJ1111. And FearlessJ2008. Or GruntVet. G-R-U-N-T. V-E-T. 2012. On Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. But it's interesting that. Black people now. Are on that bandwagon of. I stand with the Asians when for years black people complained about 
what the Asians have done to them. Black women being attacked by Asians. You had Asians, you can't walk into an Asian business and they don't follow you around. Hurry up and buy. You break, you buy. Most of them only use the only use you for business sake. They do not support black people when black people have always been in trouble. Black people have always been protesting and now those same people that don't like you you now stand with them. You stand with the illegal immigrants that's coming here and will end up in the same position that Asians are and you will be faulted for attacking them. A white dude shot up some Asian businesses. But did they focus on that white man that shot up the Asians? No, they put that on black people. And now you have black people I stand with the Asians. I had just commented on Ricky Smiley's page and I unsubscribed to him. Not that he really cares because I really don't care when people unsubscribe to me. But I made a comment to him and I said that we need to stop this nonsense, man. Why stand with a people that don't stand with you? That don't even like you? And he removed my comment. See, so when black people complain about YouTube censorship and being censored, and then you turn around and do the same thing to the same people that's being censored, you're now doing what YouTube does. The same thing you complain YouTube does, now you do it. So I think that when YouTube and celebrities like whoever censor you, you stop the conversation that really need to be spoken. When you censor videos like mine and maybe other YouTubers, you stunt that conversation. They don't want you to sit down and talk and express yourself and work out your problems. They don't want that. So they remove it because they all want you programmed and brainwashed. Now I see some crazy things coming down the pipe and it does not look good at all. It does not look good at all, especially for the so-called black Americans. We are now in a communist state. The same information we learn in school about what Hitler's done. And Ricky Smiley also repeated gun control. Now, this white dude, or actually it turned out to be, and I have an article on my WordPress, that it turned out to be the FBI already knew about this guy. He's a Muslim. He was on the Muslim terrorist list. They knew about him already. So now, instead of dealing with the actions of that one individual person, the first thing they go to is political gun control. They want to disarm the population. They want to disarm Americans because once they disarm you, you have no defense. They're talking about defunding police. Okay, you defund the police. Police is not able to respond to any emergencies. So you're left to defend yourself and your families. But now, they're not after criminals. They're now trying to disarm legal gun owners. Taking away your right to defend yourself and your family. While the Democrats, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, 
They are now guarded by the military. They have fences up around the capital. But yet, they're knocking down the walls of this country. They have protection. They have walls. They have firearms protecting them. But the American citizens, the walls are being torn down. And you're on that bandwagon as well. Out there cheerleading to destroy yourself and your family. Look your child in the eyes. Your infants. Your toddlers. Your little seven and eight year olds. Look them in the eyes and think about what you're doing. And then they just passed a $1.9 trillion bill and gave you a measly $1,400. And they're focusing on the stimulus causing this country to go broke and not talking about the trillion plus that they're sending overseas. They're not talking about the money that's being used to support illegal immigrants, criminals that's crossing the border illegally that Joe Biden invited to this country. But the taxpayers have to pay that. Now they're about to announce another bill. If I'm not mistaken, it's three trillion. And they're talking about, from what I hear, giving Americans $300 a month for a year, which you're now going to have to pay back the whole thing, the whole three million or trillion dollars that they're using for their own agenda, that they are also pocketing, you have to pay that back. That's going to fall on your shoulders. So it's sad because people don't see what's happening. But yet you're out there protesting and supporting it. But then I sat there and thought because, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely grieved in my spirit. But then the thought came to my mind. There comes a time where we just have to let things be. Leave things as they are. And a scripture came to my mind. The 22nd chapter of Revelation. And I'm going to read from the 6th verse. That reads as follows. And he said unto me. These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets. Sent his angels to show unto his servants. The things which must shortly be done. The seventh verse reads, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of of the angel which showed me these things. A lot of times a messenger may come to you with some information and you may receive that information and then end up falling down at the messenger's feet worshiping him. The Democrat party is being worshiped now. The satanic agenda is being worshiped. This country is now in the hands of demons. And many so-called Hebrews are following the demonic agenda. Going along with it just to fit in. And these are people that's in church. That's supposed to know better. That's supposed to be spiritual. But you're on that satanic bandwagon. You're on your way to hell. It says. Then saith he unto me. See thou do it not. In other words. 
the angel told John not to worship him. See, a lot of times we get the message confused and mixed up because we don't have that spiritual discernment. Many don't have that spiritual discernment. They may be in church. They may claim to speak in tongues. They may fall out between the pews. People have to cover them up with sheets or stand over you with a fan and you mumbling some nonsense out of your mouth, which you think is the Holy Spirit, but then you have no discernment. You have no self-control. The fruit of the Spirit don't exist in you. So, the angel told him, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Now, side note, you have many women primarily so-called black women that fall into that trap when it comes to religious leaders or when it comes to people that claim to be spiritual but yet don't know how to bridle their tongue. And because of the light that this person appear to have or because of the knowledge this person appeared to have, females would fall at their feet and end up giving themselves up to these demonic entities that sits in the church waiting for someone to pray upon. So you have to really be careful not to confuse the message and the messenger. You have to be careful not to worship that messenger because then you'll find yourself in a much deeper rut than you can ever imagine and your foolish hearts become darkened and you become blind and easily manipulated and that's what I see happening with the majority of the population here in America especially in the so-called black community the 10th verse reads, And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of this prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. In other words, don't hold back the message of God. Don't hold back the message or the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. In other words, warn the people. And we see because of YouTube's censorship, they're not allowing the people to receive that message. They're not allowing those that need to hear to hear. They're blocking that message. But you have to be careful not to get caught up in that satanic web yourself. The satanic spider had spun a web that's got many of you trapped and you can't even see the danger ahead. It's like having a dream and you have this monster that's chasing you and you you're running and you're falling down and you're running, you're falling down. You get back up, start running, you're falling down. You get back up, start running, falling down. And it seems like the more you fall and the weaker you get, the closer that monster gets to you. Until you wake up. Or until that monster utterly destroys you. Well, the monster is on your trail. And you keep falling down and you keep getting back up, barely getting up. And if you don't wake up, you will be consumed. You will be consumed by your own ignorance and following 
the ignorance of celebrities. And it says in the 10th verse, And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And this is the verse I want to focus on. The 11th verse. He that is just, or better yet, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So there comes a time when you have to just let them be. Let them be, let them be, let them be, let them be. Remember that song on the radio? Teaching words of wisdom, let them be. So sometimes you just have to let them be. Leave them in their own destruction. Leave them in their own ignorance. Let them be because you're wasting your breath. You're wasting your time. You put the message out there. They refuse to hear what you have to say. They've been given over to a reprobated mind to believe a lie rather than the truth. The 12th verse says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. The 13th and final verse says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And I'm going to read the 14th verse. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the holy city. And I'm going to read this 15 first because it gets better. For without, in other words, outside, are dogs, sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I'm going to read that 15 first again because. This describes the majority of those that call themselves spiritual, those that's in the church. This describes you. This describes the Democrat Party. For without our dogs and sorcerers, these are these people that's on YouTube and off YouTube that you see being sorcerers and witches and, and, and into dark arts and whoremongers and murderers. The Democrat Party protects the murderers. He keeps the murderers armed and want to disarm legal citizens and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So there comes a time when you just have to let them be. Leave them to their own demise. Again, this video might not remain on YouTube. I encourage you to download this video, re-upload the video, share the video. Click on the Cash App that's right in the description box. Support this channel because when you click on that cash app or that PayPal, the monies go towards me being able to stay afloat online. Of course, I can pay for it myself. I've been paying for it myself. But it makes it a whole lot easier when you have people that's of like mind 
and like spirit support truth rather than error. And right now, what I see that's coming upon this earth is not good at all. The future of America is not good at all. And the Democrats are digging a deeper, 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 much deeper hole for the citizens. Right now, Americans have spiritual and demonic jail cells or torture cells. That's being constructed around you. During this so-called COVID pandemic, you've been locked down in your homes. There's many people that did not make it because they committed suicide. They could not handle what was going on in this world. They were visionaries. It's wrong. Suicide is wrong. But they felt that they needed death more than life because of what was on this earth and what was coming. And it's not going to be good, but you have to submit yourself to the most high. And for those of you out there that don't believe in God. That you're always talking about the spook God. Just let you be. I'm not going to convince you. And no one else should convince you. Especially if you've already made up in your mind that you don't believe it. So if you don't believe it, there's no need for you to come on this channel or this video and tell me you don't believe. Because I care less what you believe and what you don't believe. Because there come a time when you just have to let people be. Let them remain where they are. My mother used to say. Don't tell them a thing. Just let the jaybird pack them. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the cash app. Support this channel. I might not be on YouTube too much longer. At the rate and speed that YouTube is going. They're just going through my channels like a virus man. It's crazy. It's just. It's, it's, it's crazy. And the channels they're attacking. Our channels that don't even have that many subscribers. They're new channels. These are not big channels. But every single one of my channels except for two. Have a warning. One now has two strikes. And the most of them have one strike. So yes, they YouTube is on my trail. And right now I care less. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.